Good morning, everybody. It's Sunday, September the 15th, 2024. I'm here in the dark thinking about my lost brother, Mr. Howard Stanley Beverly, a.k.a. Frankie Beverly. You know, not many times in one's life that you come across someone that's so inspiring that, you know, you can, sometimes I used to have a void in my heart and I would listen to Frankie Beverly, and that would fill the void. I'd feel better, more better. You know, and it's funny how just someone of that magnitude can make you feel so much better after having listened to the music to the lyrics, and to the feeling that's put in to what is being said and sung. That was Frankie Beverly. And you know, in our black community, our black culture, I want to say that it's so hard to find someone that everybody likes. You know, there's always a lot of haters out there. But I don't know anybody in the culture that didn't like Frankie Beverly. I can't think of anybody Lottie, Dottie, and everybody. Love Frankie Beverly. That's the impact he had on all of us. Decade after decade after decade after decade after decade. And I'm here to say I want to thank you. I want to thank you, Mr. Frankie Beverly, for all those wonderful years. I want to thank you even for the tears that I shed over listening to your music. My brother. Oh, my brother, I wish you happy feelings, and most of all, I wish you love in your afterlife, and I hope to see you on the other side, and when I see you, We're going to chop it up. We're going to chop it up. So until then, rest in heavenly peace. My dear brother.